Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and happy Mother's Day to all of those moms out there. Uh, my daughter took me yesterday to celebrate. We had some lunch and then we went to a vintage market fair that was uh, being held down at the fairgrounds here in Raleigh. And besides taking me to that fair, she got me this mug, Ain't No Mama Like My Mama. <laughs> I absolutely love it, and even though I no longer drink coffee, I will definitely be drinking tea from this mug. Love it, love it. I hope it's microwaveable safe. I didn't even think to ask, and it's not marked on the bottom. Anyway, uh, oh, and then we did some shopping after that, so it was just all around, it was a great day. And we'll be spending a little bit of time this afternoon together as well, which is actually Mother's Day. If you hear a little noise in the background, I apologize, but you know, life just happens and I am doing dishes um, right underneath of us. So I do apologize if there's a little bit of background noise and I'll try and talk over that. I did go to uh, the bins yesterday before um, we met up and had lunch and did all of our stuff together. It's the first time I had been in two weeks because the previous Saturday had been the flea market at the antique mall where I have my space. And oh my gosh, yesterday, they do routine COVID, te COVID testing for um, their residents. It's actually a residential, I think it's a drug treatment program that the Durham Rescue Mission supports. And routinely, everybody has to get uh, COVID testing. And the folks that work in the warehouse and at the bins are residents, so they had to get COVID testing. Well, usually the bins open up at eight o'clock. I waited for two hours until 10 o'clock, and then a woman came out of the far end of the warehouse and said that they did not have anyone there to open up until 11 a.m. And another friend had pulled up in the meantime, and we were discussing going to another retail store and then coming back to the bins. And the woman said, no, come on, it's okay, it's okay, come on, I'll let you inside. So sure enough, as soon as she started to let us inside, another car pulled up and then another one. But anyway, two hours I waited, and I hope this haul is going to be worth it. So let me go ahead and get started, and I will show you everything that I found. I'll start with those things that I will be keeping for myself first. Uh, my friend Joanne said, I thought this was an umbrella stand. She said she thinks it is for toilet paper. It may very well be. I am not going to be selling it though. Uh, let's see. It's, oh, it's made in Canada, it says. Uh, you can see it is uh, has some broken areas here on the bottom. But like I said, I'm going to use this as an umbrella stand in my booth up at the antique space. And to help offset the weight of the umbrellas, I plan on filling this up with some of those stones that you can buy at the Dollar Tree or just picking up stones when I'm taking Viola for a walk. That way it won't be so top heavy. I just need a little bit of cleaning up, but that's not a big deal at all. And then I, ha I had been wanting one of these, super excited. One of the other ladies found it when I said that I was looking for one and she said, well, will this do? And sure enough, yes, it will. So it's an insulated tote. And what I wanna do with it is when I go grocery shopping, I wanna put all of my frozens in here because quite often I actually don't go straight home after I go grocery shopping. I might have some more errands to run. So it'll be nice to have this that I can put my frozens into, zip it up, and hopefully they will still be frozen by the time I make it home. And then one piece of clothing that I found for myself, I'll wash this up and put it away for cooler weather, although, it's been really cool yesterday and today. We've our temperatures have dipped here. This is by J. Crew. It's a I'm gonna call it a fancy sweatshirt. It's got some you can see some material around the neckline here, and it's also around the cuffs, and then it has a little zipper in the back of it. And in blue, so I love that. Is that oh, <clears throat> excuse me, washing that up and putting it away. Found another crate. Um, now, I don't know so much if this is actually a crate crate, but I like it. I like the little handles on the side of it, and I really like this metal detail that's on all of the sides here. So I more than likely am going to be putting this 
this way on top of one of the crates that I already have down in the family room and just using it for display to put some little tchotchkes in. Okay, I think, I think that is everything that I got for myself. So everything else now that I'm gonna show you is going to be for resale, other uh, in my Poshmark closet or up at the booth. Uh, I have not been listing really anything on eBay I think it might be kind of transitioning it away from eBay, but you know, time time will tell yet. Um, and then if anybody sees anything of what I'm going to show that you might be interested in, just drop me an email and um, we can see what we can work out. But got a lot of cool things, I think. Oh, and don't forget, you want, I want you to watch through to the end of the video because I want to know what your favorite find was uh, from all three things I'm going to show you, and then I will let you know what my favorite find is as well. These are pretty cool. I've never seen coasters like this. And I'm gonna guess that they have a little bit of age to them. There are four of them. Two, you can see in this kind of darker wood and then two in a little bit lighter wood. But they have Canadian pennies in the center. Isn't that cool? Whoops. I thought that was really neat. And something, like I said, different. I've never seen those before. Found a whole bunch of Brighton tins. And these I'm going to be putting up at the booth. I mean, some people, uh, some people collect these tins. Other folks, they may have just, you know, um, want to pass something on that's brightened to someone else, but they don't have the tin that it came in. So I found this one. This one is really pretty. And these you could even use um, as decor pieces. You know, you could use them in a tiered tray or just in a little vignette or something. Uh, oh, this one says, follow your heart. I do have to clean. There's some yucky stuff on there. I have to clean that off. And then lastly, we have that one with all the purses and uh, mirrors and such on it. And this is a really, really cool riser. And I'll tell you, that, that event that my daughter took me to yesterday, I was snapping pictures left and right because it it was so inspiring, all the things that folks are doing. They're so, so creative. And I just don't have that creative gene in me. I can, you know, copy something. I can try and mimic something. But oftentimes to come out of, you know, for, for to come out of the top of my head, I'm not so good at that. But I did see uh, plenty of risers while I was there. So, but I picked this one up at the bins yesterday. So it just needs a little bit of stain on it. Um, I would be selling this, but not as a, a for food preparation. I, when I write out the tag, I'll make sure that I put on it as for decor only. And I may keep the black feet on it, or I may swap them out for some wooden feet. But I thought that was a pretty cool riser. Now this thing, I love this. And I, it needs some work, right? But look at how cool this is. So even before we went to this event, when I saw this, I thought this would look really cool if it were painted white. I could put a little, um, a little um, battery-operated candle here, change out this greenery here. And then when we were at the, this uh, vintage market, they had all kinds of things very similar to this in what it was I had already planned on doing. So okay, maybe I didn't give myself enough credit. Maybe sometimes I do have some, some good ideas, but uh, when this is done, which will be a little while from now, I'll let, I'll let you uh, see what it looks like all finished, but I was pretty excited to find that piece. I found, I found a whole slew of Tupperware. Sadly, a lot of the Tupperware, the vintage, was in not very good condition, um, or it was missing the lid, or it was missing the bottom, uh, but I did find four of these tumblers. Uh, there we go. You can see the Tupperware on it. And they're in pretty good condition. Um, they just have to be cleaned up. And I found these. I think these are Tupperware as well. Yep. Found these two. Now, I only found three of these, but that's okay. You know, some people are only three. They're not necessarily have four in their family. Uh, what else? Oh, let me show you the other Tupperware that I found. 
Now this is one that I only found the lid, but I went ahead and got the lid anyway because I'm hoping that in future trips there, I just might find the bottom to it. Found the tops, these three tops, they need to be cleaned up and those I'll just put in a plastic bag and, and sell as a lot. And then this is the bottom that I'll be looking for in this green color, but I found the one in orange and then one in brown. Let's see what other, oh, there is more Tupperware, but it's kind of got stuff on top of it, so I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, rescued one Starbucks in really good condition. A lot of, yeah, has a little bit of scuff marks on the surface of it, but I think with these kind of things, if they're, um, you know, if you're not buying them brand new, you run the risk of having some surface scuffs on them. This is going to be really cool here. I may decoupage something on here to make it, to, to do something to it instead of just selling it like this white pitcher. Um, some kind of flowers on it or something. I'm not sure yet. I have to look and see what I have in my stash that I could decoupage on here. Uh, this I got, I just thought it was kind of quirky and somebody might get a kick out of it. It's a bell, pink bell. It says drink please on both sides and quite a bit of turvis um, that I found this shopping trip I've been actually finding quite a bit of it at the bins so okay I need your help now oh Ohio University I'm guessing uh, let me see where is the turvis logo here it is on the bottom it might be a little bit hard to see, but that is a Turvis mug. Uh, this one is a tumbler. This is says Elements of Fishing. Now this I got, uh, Columbia PFG. This I got to put up in the booth. I'm thinking maybe with Father's Day, I mean, I know Mother's Day is today, but Father's Day is gonna be next month, so maybe this would be a good gift for someone for Father's Day. And there's another Turvis, here it is. This is the uh, Carolina's Gulf Association, established in 1909. Here's one of those surface marks that I was talking to you about. See that right there? But this too, this might be a, a decent Father's Day, Father's Day gift, I'm not sure. Um, that I think might be all of the turvis. This I got, I'm gonna put this away for Halloween. It says, Hocus Pocus, I need coffee to focus. And look at those three witches there on that. I thought that was pretty cool, very glittery here, huh? And this particular coffee that they got is called Wolf's Bane, and it's for Cindy. I don't know if that makes a difference, if that's gonna, I, you know what, honestly, I just noticed that name now when I was showing it to you. Anyway, I've got it, so. I found a couple of vintage bags. I do have to, fix the chain on this one whoops come on now so that is what it, oh, yes I have to fix the chain on this one it's a black velvet love the clasp on it pop it like that um, there is a name in here but I cannot make it out and there's no tag as to where it was made and it may say right there but that is really really difficult to make out. So I found that one. Now that's going to be for resale. This one also I am going to try and resell. Um, oh, wait a minute, it's caught. There we go. There we go. Isn't that a sweet little bag? Like a little shoulder bag, sort of. Now the amazing part is that not one of the rhinestones here is missing, but yet the clasp on the inside is broken. But I am still going to try and sell this as it is up at the booth. Um, I do not, I don't see any tag at all in here. No, no tag at all. But I'm thinking that someone, you know, they may be able to repair this, replace it, or they may just remove it altogether. But I thought that was a really cool looking vintage bag. This I believe is for it's like an ink stamp so it has one design there 
One, two, three, that one sort of reminds me of feathers, and then four. And it has, let me grab my glasses, it does have a marking on it. And it says <laughs> something that I cannot make out. Bolo, B-O, maybe L-L-O. It's made in the USA, 6800K Deco. I'm not sure what that is, but I thought that was kind of a cool item there. And let me see, what else do we have? Oh, these just leather straps I found. These I'm um, going to possibly use to embellish um, jars or vases or something. And I did pick up a vase while I was there, thinking that maybe I could use these leather straps on that, but I'm not quite sure. And this is quite a heavy vase. It's just a plain glass vase, but I'm thinking... You know just to do something a little different with it a couple of straps around there we'll see and I think I'm going to show you a few more things and I think I might go ahead and make this a two-part video and share the rest of everything that I found with you at the later part of this week um, there's another strap that I got and oh, 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 there we go this is a brand new uh, Lane Bryant belt, 100% cotton with wood beads. It retailed for $19.50, and it's a size, it looks like between 22 and 28, but brand new with the tags on it. Um, and this, I just, I thought it was cool, you know, that boho is really in now, and that definitely has the boho vibes to it. Uh, let me go ahead and show you one more thing, and I'm going to save the rest for another haul. This little box I got, um, it is a planter, and I like that it's lined inside. So I am thinking what I might do with this is paint this white, um, put on a wooden knob on it just to give it a little bit of character, and maybe even decoupage something on it, and then put the knob on it. I don't know. What do you think, guys? I might do that. Yep, and I'm going to stop there. i um, got to save something for you for the end of the week. Of what I showed you here, no, 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 Louis, don't do that. Thank you. Uh, what I showed you here, what is my favorite? You know, this sounds really silly, but because of what I'm hoping that this can become and what it's going to look like when I finish with it, this is going to be my favorite. This will be kind of a trash to treasure, I hope, anyway. So go ahead and let everybody know uh, in the comments what your favorite find was from today's video. And make sure that you are subscribed to my channel because I don't want you to miss part two of uh, the haul, which I, like I said, I will do later on this week. And there's Louis, you know, just saying hello. Louis, nobody, no, don't, don't do that. Oh dear, hold on. Louis, no, bud. Come on, no, 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 leave that there. Okay, come on. Okay, there you go, can you tell everybody? Happy Mother's Day while you chew on my arm. Come on, tell everyone Happy Mother's Day. Okay, yes, he's not going to. So while Lewis uses me as a chew toy, again, Happy Mother's Day, everyone. I hope you have a fabulous day. And treat yourself, do something or do nothing at all. And until my next video, thank you everyone for watching. And I will see you again soon. Don't forget, take very, very good care of yourselves and bye for now. Okay, come on, buddy. Ow!